This celebration in which Action is hosting a weekend of solidarity, learning and exchange for around 150 practitioners, including Action members from across Africa and around the world. In 2012, South Africa was the host to the International African Solidarity Festival, IASF, which saw over 350 solidarity activists from 38 countries across the continent and globally come together to reflect on solidarity, peace, and the common challenges facing humanity. Our struggle for the humanity and the dignity of the poorest, most marginalized human being in this country is on the agenda now. Action was established in 2002 on the basis of a mandate to set up a communications hub for the network of members of Action Global. It has since transformed itself into a regional and continental base for organizations working in the fields of conflict and development. You cannot lock up solidarity and throw away the key. So whatever happens, know that solidarity is an incredibly powerful force for resisting oppression. Action for Conflict Transformation has regional hubs in Cambodia, Guatemala, Philippines and South Africa and network partner organizations across the African continent, in the Americas, Asia and in the European community. We create a space where individual activists that are either uh, working in different communities on their own capacities or are linked to, to different organizations come together to share information, to strategize and to think critically on issues that are, are, that are affecting them in, in, in their respective communities. The Action Support Center was formally established in 2002. Richard Smith tells us about the historical evolution of the Action Support Center. The Action Support Center was actually initially set up to be the communications hub for this global network of practitioners working in conflict situations, where initially we had thought that it would be important to have a central hub that could handle all of the information sharing and the communications between different people around the world. But it then changed over time as we realized that we needed to organize differently, and we instead decided that it was important for us to focus on Africa and we changed into the regional hub for action for conflict transformation working on the continent, with other regional hubs then also being established in Cambodia and uh, in Guatemala and out of uh, the offices of a partner organization in Belgrade in Serbia. The ASC has three key pillars through which its programs and activities are implemented, and these are skills and strategies for change, the Solidarity Transformation Agenda, Bridging Gaps and Forging Partnerships, Building a Nonviolent Culture of Peace and Transform Structural Barriers to Sustainable Development, Promoting Peace, Justice and Demilitarization as the Focal Issues of Development Debates at All Relevant Forums. These clubs consist of members of the migrant community, consists of local people, it consists of all stakeholders, police, um, department of uh, home affairs, civil society in communities, and everybody who we feel are part of that community, the churches, and they then come together and then discuss um, the issues within that community. Creating an inclusive long-term coalition that strengthens programs of peace and justice in the global civil society movement. Creating spaces and opportunities for community voices to be heard by policymakers and decision takers at all level. The second key pillar of the ASC is Skills and Strategies for Change, SSC. SSC focuses on The Proudly African Campaign is a call for action to all Africans in Africa and around the world to begin to think collectively and creatively and to find solutions to the numerous uh, problems that we find in Africa. Building and strengthening a pool of conflict transformation practitioners that are well informed and equipped to respond to the urgent needs of communities faced with or emerging from violent conflict. I became involved in action because I've always wanted to become a part of social development sphere of South Africa and action showed me a way that I could 
become a part of it through dialogue and discussing things and you know sharing my context and sharing my experiences as an African and also hearing other people's perspectives. It's helped me grow a whole lot. Serving as a resource for African wisdom and expertise that can respond effectively to the deep-rooted social conflict across the continent. Linking people working for peace and development, human and people's rights, and social transformation throughout Africa and globally. The cultural diversity celebration event on xenophobia had a profound and positive impact on the young people in South Africa. My friends at school used to think that all the xenophobia attacks are a good thing because foreigners don't belong in our country. And for that period, I thought it was a good thing. But immediately when I came here, I've noticed that it's a bad thing, that it should come to install. And we as the youth, we have to spread the word out there and tell the people to stop the xenophobic attack. Kate Gardner, who is a programs officer, takes us through conflict transformation training provided by the Action Support Center. The Applied Conflict Transformation course entails a wide variety of approaches to learning. Um, it includes bringing together a very diverse group of people from Africa and globally that then learn through each other, through sharing their experiences, um, through uh, expressing their views, they learn from each other. Another important aspect of skills and strategies for change is building regional capacity. This involves a range of extended learning and exchange programs that address inequalities in society through the promotion of a conflict transformation approach that includes the promotion and defense of people's rights. And locally, we train communities on uh, tools of analysis, methods of devising how to resolve conflicts. This is why Action has interacted with the young people to let them come with solutions. To deepen an analytical understanding of structural inequality as a root cause of conflict through drawing on experiences from not only themselves, but also other people. To foster a regional culture of people-to-people -people solidarity and reciprocal learning through field visits facilitated by the ACS. To build awareness of human and people's rights including the promotion of mutual respect for rights and an understanding of what the responsibilities entails. The third key pillar of the Action Support Center is the Solidarity and Transformation Agenda, STA. This program is an essential aspect of the ASC. Pilan Ndebele tells us why. For, for the past uh, 10 years or more, the Action Support Center has been the host organization for the Zimbabwe Solidarity Forum, which is made up of different organizations that are in South Africa. Here I'm speaking about unions, youth organizations, women and uh, community-based organizations that are basically concerned about the, the situation in Zimbabwe and uh, they understand the value of people to people solidarity and they are also guided by the principle that an injury to one is an injury to all and as a result that and, and as a result they organize themselves around the Zimbabwe issues how can they how they can support the people of Zimbabwe we also see the the mushrooming uh, crisis in Swaziland and having drawn lessons from the Zimbabwe crisis it, it is imperative for us to to act to be proactive and to act decisively in, 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 with regards to the issue of Swaziland. Key to STA is building a culture of people-to-people -people solidarity, relationship strengthening, and encouraging coordination and collaboration between initiatives. Part of the solidarity and transformation agenda is the advocacy and lobbying for peace and human security. Bridging gaps and forging partnerships Information packs have been put together to build the capacity of local, national and community-based organizations to contribute to the peace and security initiatives of NAPAD and the AU. They will enable these communities to constructively engage with the policymakers within these institutions, as well as action research and articulating the impact of policies on marginalized groups and amplifying the experiences of people affected by violence and conflict and direct non-violent action, specifically around xenophobia in South Africa. 
if you justify xenophobia that just simply means you have forgotten who you are and that is being african that is welcoming being loving caring and being kind to others direct non-violent action also includes linking into and supporting actions aimed at applying pressure for social transformation at a policy level and for improvements to the day-to-day conditions facing vulnerable sections of society changing attitudes and behaviors and establishing systems and structures that can analyze anticipate and ultimately prevent violence we are against violence corruption xenophobia together we stand because together we can The programs, projects, activities, campaigns and communications of the Action Support Center centers around people as drivers of change and the relationships that nurture and grow inclusive societies where human and people's rights and dignity are respected. Another world where individuals recognize and respect the interconnections between themselves and the diverse contexts in which they come from. Consolidated early in November 2012 at the International African Solidarity Festival, the Bosco Declaration highlights the intention of activists, leaders, unionists, community workers, conflict transformation practitioners, action members and others to affirm their common humanity and chart a way forward. Reflecting on 10 years of action, We are reminded of the powerful words of the late Dekka Ibrahim Abdi, one of the founding members of Action for Conflict Transformation, when she says, "To transform one's own woundedness is one thing; to transform that of others and of the society requires collective wisdom." I've learned two ingredients. Those are the ability to take risks and the ability to have hope and faith in the face of difficulty. Find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and view us on YouTube.